Hello YouTube, it's Omnate, and if you ever watch any of our videos, uh, you might wonder what that strange cardboard box is that we do our crony testing in. So I thought I'd just show you, it's like a homemade pellet trap, that's quite safe, um, might be useful if you're shooting indoors, testing guns. Um, so if you're interested, keep watching. So this is the, the Corona we always use and this is our box, if you watched our videos you'll recognise it and what I do, I just stand the Corona in the box, it's really handy, um, a safe and uh, what I'll do, you might think how, how can you be shooting at a cardboard box, so what I'm going to do, I'll show you how it's made and because this one is now getting a bit tatty, I'm going to make a new one so I'll show you how to do it from scratch but I'm going to reuse some of the parts I used on this one. So basically what we've got inside is a sheet, sheets of cardboard. This is ordinary cardboard, but under that, before I used, because this one got a bit worn out, as you can see. Now this stuff is excellent, you only need really one or two sheets of it. It's like a packaging material that came with an appliance. Now if you can't get a hold of that, just cut out ordinary cardboard, I'd say you want half a dozen sheets. And what that does is that stops any rebound from the pellets to make it safe. Now under the cardboard is an old pillar or cushion. My missus was going to chuck it out, so I thought, hang on, I'll have that, I can use that. So under the cardboard is a cushion. Oh, there's plenty of products in there, Dan. Get in there for now. Okay, then in the back of that is an old metal tray that my missus was going to chuck out as well. So uh, what I've done, I add that, and that's what's in the back. Now we fired 11 and a half foot pound air rifles at this from point blank range. Um, we have a look at it. Yeah, there's a few dents in it. Yeah, and that's not very thick. It's a bacon tray. All I'd say is if you make one of these and want to use it indoors or use it at all, just give it a test shot really close just to make sure that's doing what it's intended to do. This I'm going to keep. I might reuse that, but I've got two more trays. My missus was going to chug away, so I might be using them. So um, here we go. Okay, so I'm going to just have the box there just ready. So these trays, I'm going to see. Obviously, I want the, the steel to cover the back of the box as much as possible so I've got these trays I've got some real T-Rex tape which is really good really sticky and I'm probably going to put all these metal trays in the back of the box just to make it double safe so um, what I'll do so what I've done I'll just stuck all them steel trays in the back here that's the old one to cover a bit of the top and obviously bear in mind where your steel trays are if you keep it up the same way mark the top of the box and then obviously don't shoot at the top zone so that's my steel trays in and if you leave these edges on the box folded down when you push your pillar and you have a cardboard in that'll just squeeze it all and hold it in place so you, you don't need to sell a tape or anything that just all push in the old cushion i'm reusing i'm going to put that in upside down so some of the stuff is still left on the other side so that's clamped neatly under there and this is my i've got a spare sheet of this cardboard i'm quite thick so i'm just going to use one sheet of that that's something we used for test shooting so what i'm going to do i'm just going to roughly cut that to size so what i've done Cut that a little bit shorter than I need, so I'm trying to keep drying it. Just push it down, so it'll pop under the flaps, and there you have it. So, from now on, guys, this is what you're going to be seeing in our videos for our gun testing, our brand new pellet box. And let's say you can use it indoors, bear in mind the sides of the box ain't going to stop anything. So, if you shoot at it, if you want to do a bit of indoor shooting, it's quite safe. Just make sure you hit it square on, and you won't get any rebounds. You can put targets in there. Uh, and then even cans. That's the pellet trap. Hope you liked it. Hope you found that useful. I say that's just a, something we've been using for a long while. I feel quite safe using it indoors. And um, we're going to be using that until that one falls to bits and we make another one. See you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.